Hello artists, this is another tutorial focusing on this month's theme, which is emulating a famous artist. Now it's Van Gogh, and I, I gotta say, Van Gogh and Monet, they're both way up there for me. So in this lesson, I'm gonna show you how I don't just copy a painting, but often I will just get inspired by an artist work. And in this case, I went through a Van Gogh book to embrace his very recognizable style with his expressive, mark-making, vivid colors and sense of movement. Before we get started, if you've been enjoying my channel, I would love it if you would like and subscribe and leave me a comment. Also, if you would like the full version of this tutorial, I would love for you to become a patron of mine on my Patreon page. For only $5 a month, you can get all of the extra content, real-time footage, and become part of my Patreon family. Now let's talk about these products. The surface I'll be using is an acrylic pad made by Arteza. I forgot how much I love painting on these. It comes in a two pack when you purchase it on Amazon and it's really just like a canvas sheet. And it's really great for the next product that I'll be using to do the underpainting, which is acrylic. I forget sometimes to use acrylic paint as an underpainting, and it's really an effective and painterly way to get started. If you're doing it with this acrylic paint method, you'll need some water, um, some brushes, of course. I use three different sizes in this painting. I really could have just used the one large brush, but some of the building details were a little bit intricate. I love this Gray Matters paper palette made by Jack Richeson. The back of it on the front cover has some very useful information, but what it is, is sheets of gray, a really neutral color um, paper that's coated so that you can add your acrylic paint, apply water, and mix right there on the gray sheet. The reference image I'm using is from unsplash.com. However, I did what I do a lot, which is I did some photo altering to it, and I had fun playing uh, with some of my photo editing apps. If you are a patron of mine on my Patreon page, you will receive all of the reference images, including my edited ones. Now, the acrylic paint I'm using is from Hippie Crafter once again. I gotta say thank you to them for gifting me these products. Their acrylic paints are nice. I like the fact that they have traditional paint color names not all of them, but most of them. And they mix very well. And um, I felt like this was a, a really pretty good acrylic product. I used some of the Hippie Crafter Artist Tape to mark off my painting surface to be a little bit more long and narrow. Um, this is more like masking tape, but it really does work well and it peels off great. And I'm only using two colors to create what's called an underpainting before I get started with pastels. That one is Burnt Sienna. The first one I put down is Raw Umber. You'll need a paintbrush, just use whatever you have. I switched to larger brushes as I moved to the foreground. Some paper towels, some water, and now I'm getting started with just a really basic sketch of this house in my Patreon version. I have a lot of commentary on this process, more about how to paint structures and some tips there, um, but I'm really just using these two acrylic paints to get a warm underpainting. And this Arteza acrylic pad is really great. It's kind of textured, almost like a canvas, but it's a, a paper, kind of sturdy paper. And um, the acrylic paint applies beautifully. And I wanted to use these warm colors because look at this painting. It's it's just really, it, it has a feeling, like a Tuscan feeling. I think before I edited the reference image, it's, it's kind of just a house. It doesn't look as Tuscan in the reference image, but hey, that's part of your artistic license. We can uh, change things and interpret them. And also in my full Patreon tutorial, I give lots of commentary on how I used my mark and stroke work, whether I'm using acrylic paint or soft pastels, to emulate that Van Gogh style. And I really did embrace his style. It really helps to look through some books or get online, look at his paintings to get inspiration. Now I'm gonna show you something I did wrong here. I accidentally grabbed regular gesso, which is white. I quickly realized it. And you're gonna learn why I always say use clear gesso here it is, aha, not regular gesso. First of all, it's clear and it has a little bit of texture to it so that when I apply this, 
the clearness is going to let my underpainting show through. And when I apply it, the texture in it, like little bits of sand, and this will create a surface that receives soft pastels beautifully. Soft pastels need a little bit of texture to get the layering. And I have found that clear gesso is such an easy and affordable way to turn many surfaces into pastel painting surfaces. This is my soft pastel palette, which my patrons will receive a copy of that um, to use as a guide. Now you're gonna be seeing the speed version here and I hope you find inspiration and get inspired to try emulating famous artists yourselves. And I also have my previous video right before this one was painting in the style of Monet. So enjoy this pastel painting demonstration to some music and I will be back at the end with some commentary and the final and my thoughts on this painting process. I will definitely be using these techniques again. And now I am getting in some of my final marks and you may have noticed that I have reserved my brightest colors, my lightest and brightest colors until the final marks. And I am trying to find pastels that are really soft and give me some brilliant color. And I'm using the, um, creating a composition that draws the eye in with a focal point, like an S-shaped curve that kind of cascades from the lower right corner up and towards the left, curving around to the area I'm working in now and leading the viewer to the structure or the house. And I really did feel this had a nice Tuscan feel to it. Again, like I said before, I'll definitely use this uh, technique again using, first of all, this Arteza canvas pad. I really like this and making my own surface with the clear gesso, but I also really love doing an acrylic underpainting. Here is the final. I hope you can get a sense of a little bit of that Van Gogh style, those directional, uh, bold strokes, and vibrant color. 
If you try this yourself, I hope you'll share it. You can tag me and find me at all of the things you see on this end screen here. Become a patron if you'd like the full versions of these lessons or just to support this channel. And I hope you enjoy the hundreds of free lessons here on Monet Cafe. As always, God bless and happy painting.